Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing a little bit of green here. It's not super green, but I am Irish, quarter Irish. So there you have it. And I got something nifty in the mail today. Faster than I expected. A lot faster. A copy of Broken Rooms. Role-playing game of Parallel Worlds by Gray Malcolm Games. It's a yeah, Gray Malcolm Designs. It is huge. Well, not huge. Big book. I like it. Nice, solid book. I've had the PDF for a little while. been reading that. And so I'm really... Uh, you know, pretty much almost through it, but I just like to have the hard copy of the book. It's a lot easier. And actually, I've been having my phone read it to me. I've, I've got downloaded Karen, the Australian uh, reader right here. And check her out. She is awesome. Just a single event or decision gives birth to two different realities. So the near side was born out of a single moment in really? time. Mm. When 12 seemingly random events occurred <laughs> or didn't. Yeah, that's enough of that. So sometimes when I'm driving or doing something else, I just listen to the book that way on the exercise bike at the gym. Pretty cool. Gets a little weird every once in a while. But the accent is nice. This video has nothing to do with that. I want to talk about uh, opaque and transparent character motivations. And recently, you know, I've talked about this in other videos. I've alluded to this a little bit here and there about what my preference is. And I forget whose video or comment or whatever it was that we were talking about. And, you know, so we, I've had some back and forth discussion with people that have some different views about, uh, you know, transparent character motivations versus more opaque ones. So I figured, what the heck, I'll, I was going to make a little video about it and kind of give you a little bit more of my um, my take. And you could completely disagree with me, which is which is cool. You know, it's a big world. It's a big hobby. But, you know. I get why some people want to have a, a more transparent motivation for their character. In other words, like if you've got this backstory, you've got this reason why your character does what they do, you know, what their worldview is, whatever, you know, some of the arguments are you're going to make the game world a lot richer and, you know, people were, our experience is going to be a lot richer if you let us know why your character does what he does, why he's feeling this, what, what his backstory is, what these significant events are, um, all that kind of good junk. And I get it, but to me, you know, I prefer games to be a little bit more, I, I want to say like real life, that's not exactly it, but you know, as you and I talk, as I talk to other people, they don't necessarily kind of, um, looking for a better word, like vomit on me, their, their history, their backstory, why they do what they do, what their motivations are. They're, they're, we all know some people like that, and it's, it's a little bit kind of creepy, like sometimes you want to say, hey, just put, put that back, genie back in the bottle there for a second there, you know, I didn't want to know all that all at once, you know, let's kind of... Spend some time together first. But you know, we've all had situations where we've, we've worked with people over a long period of time or, you know, done whatever, you know, with them. We've had some kind of relationship, you know, been in bands with them or whatever you do, do for hobbies, you know, I suppose you'd be in a bowling league, whatever it is. And over time, as you become friends, they just kind of drop things every once in a while. You're like, oh, wow, I had no idea. And you start to piece together, you know, parts of their personality or other people tell you things and you start to piece together why they are the way they are. You, you get more, more, uh, more is revealed. You get more facets. You understand a little bit more. I prefer games to be like that. Yeah, you know, if I have an idea of what my character's motivation is, what their backstory is, you know, I unless the character is really an, quite a, a uh, an extrovert to the to the extreme and a little histrionic, I'm not going to tell you. You'll find out. It, but it informs how I play the character. I know what they would do. Um, this doesn't mean I'm keeping secrets, you know. But there's this internal. Um, Thing that's going on for me too an internal experience and so i don't necessarily need to tell you and i also a lot of times it's kind of neat to kind of be guessing about what the, what's up with the other character so i'll give you a few examples i just came up with and now try to make them a little easier to remember a little humor but uh you know the uh let's just say that you have this character and you decided that their their family was uh taken prisoner they were they were involved in some kind of massacre they were taken prisoner and then later like horribly murdered by their captors and you know, say whatever it is, we'll, we'll say skinned alive or, or put on, you know, crucified, you know, put on the pole, you know, all the, all the kind of nasty, you know, methods of execution um, that would be frowned upon by the Geneva Convention. You know, you pick your favorite. And let's just call all these bad guys the Romulans. And we'll just say they're another human race, but easy name to remember. And let's just say this massacre happened at a place called Kittimer, for lack of a better term. <laughs> okay, easy to remember. So you could do this one a couple ways. You could, as you're... Um, introduce the party you figure out how you guys all know each other you could just kind of blurt this out as this is my i'm tortured and you know i want to uh, exact revenge for my family because they were murdered by the Rom romulans at kenimer and all this stuff or you kind of just don't say very much about it until one day you guys encounter a group of romulans and so it's not a fight 
but you're not very nice to them. They're just, they're just traitors, whatever the heck they are. And people afterwards like well, might ask you, well, what was all that about? You know, like you act kind of a little, little bit out of character. Maybe your character is not all that abrasive or aggressive or you know hostile, and you're a little bit downright hostile. And then you could you could have your character say, well, you ever see what they do to their prisoners? You ever see how you know they treat the people they capture? And then you can go in some detail about what they do. And maybe you don't even mention that it was your family involved. Maybe you know over time something else happens where either you mention or maybe you're, you have a, another contact a party meets and you know the word Kinemer kind of gets dropped and you, you mentioned that you were from there maybe people start to put two and two together and you don't necessarily have to have this big moment and maybe you just kind of say that at whatever point that to me is a lot more um, satisfying you know you, the uh, the information gets revealed at the right time at the cool time you know it may, reminds me of a couple other things like the movie Jaws you know where uh, that scene where where Quint is, uh, they're all sitting down below drinking, comparing scars, and and Quint shows uh, finally shows his tattoo, tattoo he had removed. Or actually, yeah, I think uh, I think Hooper asked him what was that, and he goes, oh, it's a tattoo I had removed. What it say? You know, and he said in the USS Indianapolis, and like it gets silent. You know, Chief doesn't know what's going on yet, but Quint, you know, Hooper's like, you were on the USS Indianapolis, and then Hooper, I mean, uh, then you know, Quint t- tells that story about how you know, they delivered the bomb, but you know, they <laughs> lost a lot of people. That's cool. That's a lot better than, you know, Quint just kind of vomiting that out on everybody that he was there. And that's one of the reasons he is the way he is. That's cool. I, I like that. You know, the right time. There's the right time for everything. And, you know, your character's motivation may never get revealed, but you know what it is. You know, I, and I understand people want to know, but sometimes for me, that's a lot more satisfying. It's a lot more satisfying for me to have that happen uh, when other people kind of reveal it at the appropriate time, when it's more appropriate or cool or whatever it's like that scene in saving private ryan and last example i promise i think you know where uh everybody's been asking the shit they all speculate you know where's tom hanks's character from you know what did he do before he was this captain and you know what kind of cool person was he and finally they have that scene where you know the uh there's a german machine gun nest and you know they, they lose a member of their party they end up you know you know killing the rest of the germans except for one guy and the guy pleads for his life and they finally let him go you know, Tom Hanks makes a decision, let him go, you know, uh, amid the protests of his, uh, his men. And they ask him about that. And he finally says, well, you, you know what I am, you know, at stateside, he goes, I'm, I'm an English composition teacher. And, you know, days like today, I'm always wondering, like, what, what am I going to tell my wife about, like, what I did today? Then you see a little bit more of his motivation, his psyche. And that's a cool moment. That's an appropriate moment. For me, that's a lot more satisfying when that happens that way in games, in movies, in literature, any any kind of medium, any kind of story. So I like opaque character motivations as opposed to, you know, super transparent ones. And at the right moment, the light shines in a little bit and you see a little bit more about what, what makes people tick. Because that's how, in my experience, real life has worked. I've, I've known people and maybe during moments of stress, maybe after moments of stress, they've told me things. And I understand, I've told them things, and we understand a little bit more of what, what makes each other tick. So, that's my preference. End of rant. Happy, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day.